Please, today we are going to learn how to design a business flyer for food or how to design a food flyer. Another type of flyer that most people like so much. So, we are going to design a flyer for vegetables and fruits. So, let's quickly launch our pizza lab. Let's locate our pizza lab and launch it. Good. So, we have our pizza lab here. Now, what we are going to do is, let's add a shape. Let's quickly add a shape. So, we are going to use a white background. We are going to use a white background for this particular design. So, let's quickly go and add another shape. Let's add another shape. Let's make that shape green. So, let's come to the A sign at the down here. Sorry, the, the, the O sign or whatever sign at the down here. Let's select color. So, we have color here. Tap on it. Activate it and let's search for green. Let's search for green. So, we are going to use this green. Good. So now let's reduce the size of this square here. Good. So always make sure that your your square or your your shape is in the middle. You do it where you position it there well. All right. So let's extend this shape. Let's extend the shape. Let's extend it. Good. Now let's bring it down a little bit. Good. So let's add another ship. Let's add another ship. All right, so let's go to position. Let's come to position and place it well there. Place this ship well on the, the green one. Let's push it up a little bit. Good. So let's add a test. All right, so we have it here. Now, let's give it a size. Let's select 48. Good. And let's go to style and give it bold. Now, let's add another test. We are designing this flyer for elegant shop. So, let's add another shop, uh, uh, another test. So, let's come to the copy sign here. Click on it. Then come to the edit here, tap on it, then you type shop. By the shop, we are going to use orange to represent the O. All right, so we have our shop there. So let's drag it here. Let's quickly drag it here and add and add the orange to it. Now let's go to our gallery and search for the orange please always get yourself prepared before you start this kind of design good so we have our orange here so let's reduce the size of the orange let's reduce the size and come to position let's push it up now if you want to reduce the size of the orange again then let's go to relative position here now Reduce the size of the orange. Good. Come back to position again. Bring it down a little bit. Good. So now we need to add the P. So let's copy. Let's come to the copy sign. And then copy and add the P. Alright, now we want the, the leaf of the orange to be at the top. So let's tap on this rotate sign here rotate then let's rotate the orange have you seen that it's rotating let's rotate the orange so that we can see the leaf at the top good so let's go back to position again let's push it here a little bit nice let's bring the p closer to the orange a little bit good 
so we have our elegant shop here now we want to give it color so let's search for color let's search for the color and give the shop color so we have color here tap on it then let's scroll this one to the left and select our color so we have this color here so let's give the same color to the p as well let's give the same color to the p as well good so we have our elegant shop here we have the elegant shop here now we are going to add another test to this shape here but please always don't forget to come to the layer sign and lock all your shapes so let's tap on the sorry let's tap on the symbol that looks like a padlock and let's lock all the ships good let's lock all of them so that they will not be moving whilst we are designing all right so let's quickly add a test here let's add a test here all right so we have our test here so let's give it a color let's give it a green color let's give it a green color good so let's quickly go to styles here and tap on bold good so we have our test there nicely now let's go back to position let's go back to position and position our test well on the shape there now we want to add another test so let's come to the plus sign at the top here add a test come to the edit sign at the down here and clear that thing so we supply all kinds of all kinds of vegetables and fruits good so let's reduce the size of them a little so we have our test there nicely let's go to style again let's go to style here and give it bold good so let's check it here let's mark it now let's quickly come to size again and increase it a little bit good so let's go back to position here and come to tap on the minus time to reduce the size of your test and if you want to increase the size of your test tap on the plus sign here good so let's reduce the size of the test to small okay so let's move it sorry if you want to reduce the rate at which the the, the image or the shape will move tap on the minus sign and if you want to reduce the, the increase the rate at which your image will move tap on the plus sign all right now let me bring it here a little bit let's check it now let's go back to size again if you want to increase the size of your test you tap here and if you want to reduce the size of your shape or your your test you tap here good so let's tap on the plus sign and see if we can increase it no it will not work so let's rather reduce it good so we have our test here nicely we have it here nicely now it's time for us to add images it's time for us to add our images to the space here we need to add images to the space provided here good so let's quickly go to our gallery let's quickly go to our gallery so let's tap on the plus sign at the top here and go to our gallery to select our images so let's wait for it to come now we are here so let's scroll down let's scroll down so the images i want to use they are all here please always when you are going to use these images use the website that i introduced to you remove.bg to remove their backgrounds before you can be able to use them all right so let me select my first image and bring it here i, did, I need not to crop it so let me just reduce the size of the image let me just reduce the size of the image please place it on it well let's go back to gallery and select another image let's go back to the gallery again and select another image that i'll be using there okay 
so let's quickly search for it this is another image that i'm going to use good so let me reduce the size a little bit and place it here okay so guys that's how you do it to it all right so guys we have it here nicely please with this kind of design you just need to be creative you just need to be creative so we are going to add pictures to all these areas here so let's quickly go back to gallery again and add another picture let's go and add another picture please this is the founder of geoforce global it services please if you are not receiving these tutorials directly from me then it means you are dealing with a scammer okay let me go and pick another image i deleted that one because that's not what i want to put there at this moment so let me go for this good my carrot i said it earlier that we are going to design for we are going to design for a, a, a food shop so it's a vegetable and fruit flyer that we are designing so let me select my image good this is what i want because this one is not having any background this one is not having any background good so let me bring it here reduce the size a little bit now let me place it on this one nicely nicely good so let me quickly go to the gallery again and add another image let me go and add another image so i have my banana here so let me just reduce the size let me reduce the size of my banana let me reduce the size and place it on this one here nicely let me reduce the size okay let me go back to crop i want to make it to look like a circle i'm going to place it on this one here i'm going to place it here good so i have my banana there nicely well placed now let me go back to the gallery again let me go back to my gallery and add another picture let me go and add another picture so let me take this one good i have it here so let me just reduce the size let me reduce the size rotate it a little bit rotate it a little bit and reduce the size again so i'll place it on this one place it on this one here good so let me go back to my gallery and add all the so let's let's zoom this one so that it can fit well into the space there so let's reduce the size of this one let me reduce the size and rotate it a little bit i want to, it to fit well into that space there let me rotate it again and increase this side rotate it move it there increase the size push it there push it upwards a little bit good so we have it there nicely all right so guys i hope you can see how beautiful the flyers going to be all right so let's quickly go to the gallery again and add another picture let me go to the gallery and add another picture this is geoforce global it services please if you are not receiving these tutorials directly from the founder of geoforce global it services foster Odikuru, then it means you are dealing with a scammer you can also call me prof geoforce yeah i prefer prof geoforce than foster Odikuru. so let me reduce the size of this one a little bit and place it somewhere around here place it here good now let me go to the gallery again and add another picture or another image please this is prof jufos the founder of jufos global it services all right so let's add this picture let's add that crop it a little bit 
then bring it here reduce the size and place it here I hope you can see that it's looking nice so good so this is how the design will look like so we have another space here that we need to fill we have a space here that we need to fill so let's go back to the gallery again and add another image to fill that space let's search for some image to fill that space it's left with this one here all right so that is our purple our purple good so let's see if we can place it here no let's bring it here let's place it here and let's reduce the size a little bit good so that is our purple there that is our purple let's go to the gallery again and shoot. so let's go to the gallery and select another image to fill that vacuum space there let's quickly select an image to fill that space there um this banana can do this banana can do so let me select the banana to fill the vacuum space there good so let's rotate it or uh, let's leave it let's just leave it to go but let's increase the size of the banana a little bit let's increase the size of the banana to fit well there so guys this is our beautiful design now we want to add a test we want to add a test a, a shape and a test here we want to add a shape and a test here but before then let's go to the layer sign and lock all the images so that they, they will not move again let's go to the layer sign and lock everything now let's go to the the plus sign at the top and add shape so let's let's move it downwards to fit well there good so let's change the color of that shape let's change the color let's change the color of the shape quickly good so we have a green color there nice so we are going to insert a shape there and we are going to use some symbols as well so let's quickly go to the gallery and add the call symbol the whatsapp symbol and the location symbol so these are the 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 logos that i'm talking about this is the call logo the location logo and then the whatsapp logo so now let's add a test let's add a test to each of the logos so guys those these are the the tests that we need to add so you add the telephone number of the the shop the whatsapp line of the shop and then the location of the shop so now this particular design or this particular flyer is being done by jufos global it services or jufos graphics so you can write it at the down here jufos graphics just write it at the down all right so guys this is our nice design so now let's quickly go and save it let's come to the save button at the top here and save it as project so you give name to the project so vegetables flyer vegetables flyer and you save it now let's go back again and save it as image let's save it as image so here we we have to select ultra ultra select ultra and tap on save to gallery save to gallery so our image will be saved so the image has been saved to the gallery so let's quickly go to the gallery and see if truly the image has been saved to the gallery so let me just open my gallery all right so guys this is my gallery and we have the image here let me tap on it and see if it is really the one we are. yes so this is our nice image here guys this is our nice image Thank you for watching these tutorials. Bye-bye.